morning from Guwahati. Welcome back to 88 Racing. Today we're gonna have a morning ride. That's the lineup behind me. We've got all our guys ready. Uh, quick check on the bikes first. This is washed and cleaned, tidy. BMW S1000 RR. The beautiful 959. The 765 Street Triple. The mighty Busa. Monster 821. Amitabh's CBR. Anupam's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ZX6R and Major Sab's CVR. Now, Anupam's bike, we have done some little modifications this time. We have put on the Bonamichi racing sets. You can see his name and number is there, AD19. Beautiful. So, let's stop the hand camera and see you in the GoPro. <laughs> So as you can see, all the riders are lining up. Even on this side, David is there. So we're back on the GoPro right now. We've decided to take it slow because uh, something happened in the morning, which I don't quite appreciate. I was gonna go to the fuel station and I just started from my place and there was this bloody rickshaw. Ala. He bloody turned his rickshaw in, in the middle of the road and didn't give me a fucking chance to stop so I almost hit him I had to actually go to the opposite lane of the road to avoid him and I wasn't that fast also, hardly 60 and it was like when he turned the rickshaw it was hardly I don't know maybe may, maybe where, where that car is standing right now but he didn't even look back so we are following David for now for a little while we will listen to Pataka because his bike is the Pataka bomb of our group Jay Ganesh Baba This is the reason I mean these are the reasons that uh, you need to wear protective gear for You might be thinking that I'll be riding slowly what do I need gears for but you'll be the one who who's gonna be responsible on the road not the other party I mean these rickshaw haulers and battery rickshaws they hardly care about traffic rules and safety and all that stuff all they know is if they have decided to turn, they'll just turn. So that was a decent pull and I loved it. I'm pretty sure the other guys pulled up behind me as well. This bike is so bloody powerful. Yeah, I love it. I don't trust this front tire though, that's why I don't feel like leaning much. I hope Meghalaya side opens up soon so that we can start riding that side also. Do you see how the quick shifter changes gears? I'll show you it. Yeah, so this is second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. It's that easy. Effortless. The bike feels so well balanced in the corners here. It's just that the front tire is not trustworthy. It's some Michelin tire that I don't trust. That's why I'm not pushing. We are out of the hills and currently on the straits of Assam. Kunal's already stretching his legs. Baki log pata nahi kaha hai. Mali is gone too. Amitabh bhi chala gaya. Baki log bahut dheere dheere aare hai. Bahut dheere. Ab I have two options. Ya to main unke saath fad cheed fad ke ja sakta hoon. Ya to main ruk sakta hoon piche wale group ke liye. Mere ko jo option best lagta hai that is maybe I should cross them and unko rok dena chahiye ki भाई लोग इतना भी फास्ट मत जाओ पीछे वाले ग्रुप के लिए रुक जाते हैं थोड़ा सा उनको रोक ही रोक ही देते हैं लेट द ग्रुप बिहाइंड कैच अप टू अस फर्स्ट and then uh, we can all ride together क्योंकि अभी अकेले अकेले राइड करेंगे ना तो मजा नहीं आएगा आधे ग्रुप Alrighty, right. The guys have all reached, and now we're resuming our ride. This particular area is called Sonapur. We are planning to ride till Jagi Road, and then take a U-turn and come back. So this is Anupam on his ZX6R, and just look at the wave without the graphics and everything. How beautiful it looks, especially with the new foot pegs, that Bonomichi adjustable levers. It's looking so beautiful and he's got those beautiful green tips that's making the bike look very well made. Just look at that green Samco, those green tips and the green and black combination. It's so beautifully designed, you know. 
uh, there's no graphics though he put out the graphics but actually it's looking better without the graphics than with if you know this this is the only legal 600 left in india which is still sold today from a company i mean it's not sold this year but then yeah it's the only one left because daytona production has been stopped and i'm pretty sure kawasaki will be coming out with a ps6 model of the same is the mirko apni daytona yaad dila di my daytona days were beautiful it was less of a competition more of enjoyment back then and i learned most of my bike riding on the daytona so this guy is a good racer also he races uh, dirt bikes he has the super sport uh, for just leisure riding but normally he's racing a lot of dirt bikes and you should just check his videos they're awesome man beautiful videos because dirt racing is very intense very raw i and this physical little bit though he's got that proper racer physique of like danny pedrosa or mark marquez small build lean physique very good for racing as for me i struggle a lot because i'm very well built i'm over 80 kilograms of weight a85 right now to be precise and i have lost almost some 10 12 kilos in the last 6 months uh, there's another thing i cannot just lose a lot of weight because what happens is that uh, if i lose a lot of weight i lose my capacity to perform because on track you need to perform a lot you need stamina the fast guys have to wait for the slow guys i mean we are the slow guys today and that is because i don't want to risk things yeah i mean these roads are open and all that but then as you can see there are stray animals so it's very risky so mali has wrapped his bike recently for a beautiful paint scheme in this is he's done it in rhapsody if you want to do uh, your wraps and all that you can go there beautiful matte black scheme and uh, nice stickers on the forks as well so as you can see the triumph logo is different he's put the street twin logo and then in the front he's uh, put that 14 which is his racing number and then there's that rap city logo they have put around there beautiful work done from rap city i love it very neatly done there's no bubbles whatsoever showing it's looking very neat there are a lot of nurseries out here in this area you can buy your plants and then flower seeds and all those stuff a lot of nurseries on this side this is called khetri this place and if we go a little bit ahead then we'll reach um, chagi road from where we'll take a u turn if you can see the ducatis are going a little bit faster than the other bikes the inline engines that is because ducatis feel very comfortable going fast i mean it's got immense brake control as well very good brake control but uh, it feels very comfortable going fast but the inlines on the other hand uh, feels comfortable when you're going slow if you're going fast this is also this bike also looks like uh, it has mali's paint scheme actually it doesn't it has a matte paint color it came with the matte paint color this is kunal by the way on his monster 821 i love his color it's matte black from the company the roads on this side are a little bit bumpy it's open it's a proper highway and all that there's not much traffic but they're a little bumpy so you cannot cross your speed beyond a certain level it gets very uncomfortable otherwise so let me set the speed for now should be around 120 which is a decent cruising speed now if you look at my meter i'm not sure how properly you can see it but if you look at my meter at around 110 100 110 i'm going in the sixth gear there's a ducati 959 panigale and the bike's not heating up more than 86 degrees it's proper summers here but still it's getting 86 87 degrees that means you can tour in the speed and your bike will still feel comfortable 100 is not a bad speed it's not too risky if something comes up in the front hum brake laga sakte hain and we can stop the bike but it's not too low that you'll be you know very slow and then your entire pack moves ahead and all that the best thing i like about super sport bikes is that you're in such a position that you can grab the tank very nicely and i put some tank pads uh you can grab the tank with your thighs and what happens is that your legs are not sore anymore or neither are your hands see if i take off my hands i'm still in a good position look at the scenery guys look at the entire view amazing assam we don't just call it amazing assam for nothing the clouds the blue hills the greenery 
paddy is on the left i mean not paddy is there's a basically jungle but then green on the left blue hills blue skies beautiful That's the mandir on the opposite side and we have found some nice shade a little patch we'll wait over here for some time till the others catch up and then we'll go together for breakfast finally i'm going to test out these bonamichi racing rear sets i have used a lot of light tech rear sets but uh, this time i'm testing out the bonamichi चला के देखते हैं कुछ फर्क पड़ता है कि नहीं ओ माई गॉड इट सो कम्फर्टेबल इज गॉट दिस ब्यूटिफुल आर सी एस नाइनटीन एंड द ब्रेकिंग इज सो डैम प्रिसाइज ऑन दिस थिंग दिस कलर दुकान लुक सो डैम सेक्सी स्पेशली विद स्मॉल स्टेच गाय राइडिंग इट इट लुक्स लाइक दो स्टंडर गाइज फ्रॉम थाईलैंड गोल्डन डोज वेली एंड ऑल दैट स्टॉप ब्यूटिफुल This machine is bloody crazy, beautiful, and the exhaust note of this raw and line four is so beautiful. Yeah, I'm totally in love with this machine. The smoothness of the ZX6R is uncomparable to any other bike. So bloody smooth, yeah, this bike. And with the Bonamici rear sets, what's happening is that uh, the gear shifts are like clicks of buttons. So it's become so smooth and so easy to shift gears. It's just like on my uh, Panigale V4. These Bonamici rear sets, though, it's a little hard to put it on. I mean, you have to do a little bit of research, and then it needs a little time. But it's once it's done, it's beautiful. Yeah, though it doesn't touch 200 as fast as the Ducati, but that's obvious. That's a bloody 959 cc motor. and this is a 636 but the way of doing that speed is phenomenal so smooth and so easy wow i would suggest na i'm a big guy I, i might be a little too big for the zx6r but i think this bike would be perfect for rehan if rehan rides it or even for twinkle because for them i think this bike would be a perfect match Oh wow, one of them is flying. There's one small problem that I'm facing. That is my wrist. It's got handle. It's not under the gana. That my right wrist is dukra. That's the only problem I've faced on this bike. But that can be rectified. If we have racing clip-ons, then that problem would go away. Now, racing clip-ons, what happens? The handle flare out, be it, and it can be brought in. Here, there's Spring Valley too. But then, we're going to the place where we are going. That place is called uh, Aryan Wood. लोग बोलते हैं कहाँ से कि heat नहीं मारती। 101 degree तो पहुँच गया है। Thank you. फिर लगा लो, लगा लो। मैं इधर आऊँगा। We'll do a ref bombing. Ref bombing कोई माँ? रेफ बॉम्बिंग करीम साला चलता है मुझसे मजनू
I'm back on the Ducati again and it feels very roomy so it's starting to rain so I'll have to close the vlog now uh, before things start getting really aggressive rain starts getting too much and uh, if you like the channel if you like the vlog please like share and subscribe uh, share it among your friends make us grow because together we grow and bye bye to my 88 racing family see you next time